Hey guys, Parallel here. Welcome to Star Trek Online. And in this video, I would like to do something very special. A celebration of... Mm, I believe it's 25 days of grinding? Something along those lines. That's right, I am going to celebrate getting my Nandi warship. So why don't I turn around here and you can see... There we go. There it is. That's what I will be getting in this video here today. That is the new Ferengi Nandi warship. That is the reward for the uh, Rising uh, Summer event that's going on right now in Star Trek Online. Um, if you spend uh, once a day, you spend about five minutes doing a mission that rewards you with these... Uh, and what do they call it? Lalanat prize vouchers. That's right, you need a thousand of these, and then you get rewarded with the Nandi warship. Now, as you can see, I have 960 of them, and I'm about to do the final run of the daily mission. I thought I would go ahead and actually show running the mission, just so if anyone's curious to see how the mission actually goes. I'm sure anyone watching this video has probably done this for the last 25 days and is, <laughs> at this point, probably quite sick of it. But in any case, I wanted to show it because this is the last run and I am quite happy. I'm really excited about the Nandi warship. I've been hearing some really great things about this ship's capabilities. Everyone's saying it is one of the best, if not the best, free ship they've ever given in Star Trek Online. All right, so the actual mission is here. I should just say, you go to the event coordinator. You do this flying high mission. You get it in your log. Activate your jetpack, and that starts the mission. And you'll actually see on your map uh, four locations, which are actually little, I guess, obstacle courses you could call them that you have to run in your jetpack. Um, so let's head to this one over here, which appears to be the closest. Now it actually spawns four, uh, four of these obstacle courses, although for some reason you only have to complete three. I'm not quite sure why they did it that way, but you do only have to complete three. So let's head up here. So all right, so the Nandi warship, pretty unique ship. I believe it is the only ship that has six bridge officer seats. It doesn't have... I don't believe it actually has any extra bridge officer ability slots. It just has six seats, so it has more, you know, lower ranking officers like ensigns and whatnot. So you can actually have six seats but still have the same total amount of activatable uh, bridge officer powers. So that's already pretty unique. And that is an advantage because if you have that sixth seat, you can, you know, of course, slot another bridge officer there and take advantage of their traits. So, you know, if you're a Klingon, you can slot another Noskin in there and get another pirate uh, damage buff. And of course, if you are Romulan, you can, uh, you know, get another uh, SRO in there. And I guess if anyone's curious, uh, if, if anyone's new to the game, if they're curious what SRO is, it is actually a trait that Romulans get um, called uh, Superior Romulan Operative, which is pretty much the most OP trait in the game. Uh, it gives you, you know, just for slotting that bridge officer, it gives you a, uh, I believe it's 2% crit chance buff and even a crit severity buff too, I believe. And after I run this, finish running this course, I will I'll pull up my uh, pull up my bridge officers. I actually do have a one of the embassy uh, Romulan bridge officers on this character. So even though she's Federation, she can have a Romulan uh, tactical officer with the SRO trait. And yeah, I actually do have three of those. 
Uh, which should be perfect for the nanny. I believe you can fit three tactical officers in there. Uh, let's see here. Which one's closer? They're both about the same. Let's go over here. Alright, well I'm on my way to that next course. So let's take a look here. Ramus, yes, I believe you are my Romulan. Yes, so Romulan traits, so yes, here it is. Superior Romulan operative details. Yeah, 2% crit chance buff and a 5% crit severity. 50% power recharge speed after cloaking. Interesting. So there it is. It gives you crit chance and 5% crit damage. And of course they stack up. So if you have three of them, that's 6% crit chance and 15% uh, uh, crit severity, which is great. Pretty much a requirement for any of your top DPS builds. You're going to want officers with that trait. Which again, it will work really well with a Nandi since it has so many bridge officer seats. Sand sculpting time is over. You may keep building, but bonus rewards will come back in an hour. And alrighty, there we go, three down. So you can actually see, even though I didn't do this last track over here, uh, it did actually complete the mission. So I'm going to beam back to the resort, and turn this in. For my last 50, or uh, sorry, last 40, Lollanot. Uh, vouchers, that's right. Here we go. Yes, I am very excited. <laughs> very, very excited after all these days of grinding. And actually, one thing I also want to test here is supposedly once you complete this on one character, you can uh, claim it on all of your other characters, and that's something I would like to actually test here, make sure that is working properly. Alright, so there it is, thousand. Get out on the dance floor. There we go, thousand. So I'm going to go into my reputation tab here, and events, and here it is. And there we go, let's contribute these thousand prizes. And there it is. Oh, awesome, and it doesn't even take any time. Completes immediately. And I hope I have some ship slots. Uh, let me... Before I claim this, I am going to go to... Let's just go to uh, Earth Space Dock here, and I want to check the... Uh, ship selector and make sure I'm not running uh, out of slots here. So let's transwarp to Soul System. Yeah, and as you can see on this character I do have the Tier 6 Arbiter, uh, the new battleship that was uh, just recently released. I will also be doing a build video on this thing. Again, a very, very powerful ship. I'm quite happy with this uh, purchase. I might even, might even upgrade this one to fleet. I've never actually owned a fleet ship before, and I want to uh, give that a try. Do a whole build video on that, including the fleet version. All right, let's head over here. Head down to the ship selector. Almost there, almost there. Can almost get me my nandy. All right. Remaining slots one. Woohoo! All right, perfect. So let's go back here and claim this sucker. And there it is. I guess it gives you the box anyway, even if you have an open slot. The USS Chichibu. That's an interesting name. No, that's all right. So let's give let's give this ship a look. I'm very very curious. All right. So yes, it does have the four forward, four aft. Just a very odd ship. 
I mean, it is a fairly maneuverable... Let me check the stats here. What's the turn rate? Movement. Ah, yeah, three degrees. Well, I'm not in space. Uh, I'll have to double check that later. I'm probably not going to build this out right now. It just takes too long to do on screen. Um, I'm going to work on a few builds for this and uh, probably just do a whole separate video on that. But it is a fairly maneuverable ship, yet it has the weapons layout of a cruiser, yet it has uh, more of a, a science focus. Just ready the ship, so I can at least pull it up here in my. Um... Yeah, it has more of a science focus because it has a lieutenant commander science and a lieutenant science, so it's a just a very odd mix. Plus, it even has five tactical consoles, so it's almost like a tactical escort ship combined with the weapon layout of a cruiser combined with a science sciency you know, bridge officer seating. Although I guess, of course, it does have the commander tactical. I mean, it really is more tactical, but it does have that science focus. Pretty interesting ship. I really want to give this thing a try. It also has a uh, trait that I've been hearing good thing of, things about it. This uh, starship trait is the greedy emitters trait. Um, which gives you an immunity to power drain on your weapons uh, for, I believe it's 10 seconds around there. I'll have to double check the duration, but uh, for a decent amount of time, it gives you no weapon, uh, you know, immunity to weapon power drain if you activate one of those uh, science abilities, so Energy Siphon, Tachyon Beam, or Tychon's Rift. So that's a nice uh, actual DPS boost. Um, you know, if you can be firing off all of your eight beams without any weapons drain at all, um, That'd be pretty great. That's another uh, another ship I might try running without the board two piece, just to see if it uh, if it works out good. So I guess the last thing I'll show here, I do want to see how this thing looks in the ship cust customizer. Now I do know <laughs> a lot of people on the forums have been complaining about this ship because it looks like it's flying backwards. So this over here is the actual front of the ship, and this kind of bulbous part here in the, is the back of the ship. A little bit odd. Um, I mean, I do like the texture of the ship, and the layout looks quite good. Um, it just... Yeah, I, I can kind of see why people think it's going the wrong way. It just... Uh, Yeah, and maybe it's also just kind of how it has the backwards swept wings. Typically, your Ferengi vessels, you know, that we've seen in the shows, would always have the forward uh, sweeping wings towards the back of the ship. So I guess that's probably another reason why people think it flies backwards. All right, enough of that though. Let's take a look at what we can actually do for materials here. Ooh, okay. So type one material. Type two. Type three. Type 4 is that default. I kind of like that. Type 1, that's not bad at all. And Windows. Does that just disappear? Okay, that was strange. <laughs> not quite sure where that went. Um, but I'll use that Type 1 material for now. And I always like to go with the Corvus uh, pattern. It has a nice uh, gradient to it that you can. Uh, has a nice little accent to your ship. A little bit hard to see behind the new uh, color selector. Ooh, I kind of like that. I do like that. Maybe darken that up a little bit. 
Yeah, that's looking pretty good. All right. So there it is, folks. I did. Uh, very happy to get this Nandy Cruiser. Why don't I just quickly beam up and just take a look at it real quick in space, and we can leave it off there. Ah, yes, looks like someone else just got there, Nandy as well. But yeah, I do, I do like this a lot. I am looking forward to taking this thing out for a proper test drive. Yeah, that it looks really nice. All right, so there it is, the Frankie Nandy warship. I hope you all are enjoying the Rising Summer event, and you all were able to get your ship. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, folks.